back with another custom dynamics install. This time what we're going to install is the new uh, custom dynamics facial lights. These are the uh, all LED and these will go here on the back of the bike in between the saddle bag and the uh, the center fender. So what's in the box? You get the facial lights. These are in a nice neat little uh, um, air airtight package. And then you get your warranty with your order information. And then you, as with every Custom Dynamics product, I want to bring this to attention. Uh, every Custom Dynamics product, you get the thank you note in there. And you also get the, uh, who pulled it, Krista. And who packed it, Karen? And, uh, and then on your bill over here, you have quality control by Aaron. So I want to point that out that there's several layers there at Custom Dynamics that always make sure that you're getting the right stuff. And even if you get the wrong stuff, these guys are right back on top of it and they take care of you. So huge shout out to all the behind the scenes people that take care of everything Custom Dynamics. And uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to install these facial lights on the back of my road glide so coming at you so in the package here with the facial lights you get a left and a you get a right you get a set of zip ties to clean everything up nice and neat these lights uh, they do attach to the bike with 3m adhesive so with your adhesive you get a uh, uh, alcohol wipe and uh, this is your alcohol wipe and your prep all in one here this is a new new system of what they used to send out um, you get the cable keepers to keep everything nice and neat. And then you get your direct connect harness uh, with the factory ends that connect right to the Harley factory system. Um, as with all Custom Dynamics products, everything is plug and play. There's never any cutting and splicing of your factory wiring system. So um, buy with confidence when you're buying Custom Dynamics stuff and know that you're not going to have to ruin anything that is stock and factory from your bike. It's all plug and play. If you get rid of the bike, uh, so for example, some of my stuff, I went from a 2016 to a 2019 bike, and uh, some of the stuff I just took right off the 16, uh, put it in storage. When I got the new bike at home, I put the same stuff right back on my 2019. Um, didn't affect anything. Put the stock back together, change it back to Custom Dynamics for the new bike. The other thing that you always get with every Custom Dynamics product, you get a full set of detailed instructions that tells you exactly how to install their product and how to make their product work. So uh, kudos, Custom Dynamics. You guys are right on the bill of, of perfect customer service and you make this easy for the Shade Tree Mechanic. This job, I'm gonna guess, it's probably gonna be about another half hour job. Um, again, you want to bump it up to an hour. That way it's give you time to throw tools and take breaks and whatever else. But you really don't need many tools. For the prep of the bike, um, I have removed my right saddle bag, my left saddle bag. I've removed my seat because all of your electrical connections will be made here in the factory wiring. And then all of your wiring for these lights will run on the sides. Okay, my bike, I have the lights that are on the back of my saddle bag. So I've already got some custom dynamics products uh, in wired in here that this stuff will connect into and it will all run in sync together. So uh, what these lights are going to do is, again, these lights will go in between the saddle bag and the fender. And this, uh, if you've seen a CVO style uh, street glide or road glide or a touring, these are an added set that goes in between that gap and gives you extra safety in the rear end. Okay, so we're going to install and uh, when we get back here, we'll do one more talk video and we'll talk about the functionality and show you what they look like. Hey, quick, uh, quick pro tip. Um, so this is the rear facial light on the back here is this, this is the 3M so this is the double adhesive tape. So one side is stuck to the fascia piece and then you'll peel this red piece off and then you'll stick that to the back of the bike. So pro tip, um, before you use this 3M, you'll see how it's all nice and smooth. Always take some kind of a blunt 
uh, blunt, smooth end of something. Um, if you've got a hard, like a plastic screwdriver, use the back end. Um, but what you want to do is you want to work that, that red tape and you're just, you're just kind of massaging it. So if you feel it, you'll, you'll notice there's a little bit of squishiness to it. Um, you want to massage all of that in and uh, there's no better way to describe it. Massage isn't the right word that we're looking for here, but, but what you're doing is, um, it, this activates that 3M. Sometimes this uh, this stuff, um, you know, I don't I don't know how long. I'm not speaking for Custom Dynamics for any means, but but this is molding tape. So sometimes that this molding tape is applied to the piece of molding, and then and then whatever it's applied to sits on a shelf for six or eight months or whatever before it ever gets sold, and then and then it's so so doing this. This is a tip I got from a from a body shop man a long time ago but what you want to do is you just want to you just you're not i'm not putting any pressure on it i'm just massaging that it's kind of foamy underneath you massage it a little bit and then when you go to peel off your your red tape here that uh that 3m now has been activated and it's going to be stickier and it's going to provide more adhesion to whatever you're sticking it to. So just something to think about. Okay, so we're back here. The facial lights are installed and now I'm going to show you operation. So here is on. So there's your on. Uh, you can see I have the facial lights. I have the low profile bags and I also have the, the uh, pro beam rear signals and the pro beam bottom light. What, we're, what we just installed was this facial light. So here is left turn signal function. So you see you get the, turn, the bag light, the pro beam and the fascia. Right turn signal function. Just opposite here on the other side. Okay, and then we stop the turn signal light and then we push the brake. And you see when you push the brake, you get that strobe from that magic strobe. So there's your fascia insert. And uh, that's, that's this here on the left, or the right and the left. Thanks for watching.